Hey everybody, I am editing my video and realized I forgot to video an intro, so here I am. Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Please consider subscribing if you haven't yet already. Um, so in today's video, I am planting the last of my seeds, getting them in their little planter tray thingies. Um, I'll insert a clip of my plants. I planted these ones on Monday and it is Friday today, the same week Friday, and they're already this tall. Is that an inch? <laughs> anyway, I'm laying on the couch next to baby Brian, who's taking a nap right now, and I'm very, very tired myself. So, I'm going to continue editing this video, post it, and then go take a nap. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It is rainy and dark outside, so hence the flashlight. But here are my radish seeds. They're so big already. Is there anything else growing? Here's some seeds. What are these? My turnip seeds are coming up. Yeah, those are all turnips right there. Those are coming up already. What else? Over here, some spinach greens. And I legit planted these on Monday and they are just loving it. Here I am showing you a selection of seeds that I'm planning on putting in my raised garden bed. I may add some more seeds to the pile and take away the lavender, but that is to be decided yet. While I was planting seeds, I heard a knock on the door and one of our little friends brought us some cupcakes. Okay, here I am showing you seeds that I'm planting right now um, so I can have my own sprouts. So here's the garden plot, and my husband did finish that section then. Our skid loader had broken down, and now we're borrowing a second one, and we got the job done. While he had a skid loader, I also had him help me with the little island where I'm planting my butterfly garden. So I'll show you a clip of that here soon. And then we took the leftover grass here and put it into my raised flower bed, raised garden bed. So I'll also show a clip of that. Here we are shaking the topsoil off of the roots and getting rid of the clumps. That way there's not as much grass in there. I cannot wait to start planting. Obviously, it'll have to wait until after next week. It's gonna be quite rainy next week. Um, and then after that, I think it'll be warm warmer for the rest of the spring and I can start planting. Sunday house church was held at the Garmin house and we had a really enjoyable time. Little baby Richard is just the cutest little thing and the food was amazing. Here I am showing you some pea sprouts that are finally growing and onto the clip of Monday morning and getting my raised garden finished. this first triangle corner I am planting two types of radishes they're pretty much the same so I think they'll do okay together um, and I'm just hand troweling some whole some rows into the dirt here and just sprinkling as many as I can because I can always weed out more later and then in the row that I left I'm going to put my mustard seeds um, just hoping that the rabbits won't climb up in there and eat it 
In my second tier, I am planting some cherry tomatoes. I'm hoping the vines drape over the edges there and into the bottom tier. That way my husband doesn't drive over the vines when he's mowing. I will be planting lettuce in the bottom two tiers up front here. Um, I'll show you a full video, full screen video um, in a later clip. But yeah, my puppies came to see me. It was so cute. Tuesday and it is supposed to rain the rest of the week now so pretty much every day anyway so I have to go out there and quickly plant my carrots yet I have a hard time planting seeds just because I don't trust them I feel like if I'm gonna plant they're not gonna come up like I like planting where I can see the green part already <laughs> which is why I started some um, seeds indoors but I did plant my raised garden bed. All the seeds are outside already. I know that the seeds won't freeze, or like freezing seeds isn't as bad as freezing the green part. What? Okay, so Oliver wanted to come up and say hey. But what I was saying is I still have to plant my carrot seeds before it rains, and um, I wanted to answer a question. So somebody was asking me how I video my content. Not how, but like what day. And it's kind of a whole week thing. I start the Saturday when I upload my video for the week and film until that next Friday night. And um, sometimes I just don't have content to film, which is why my video is shorter. And I have like this paranoia of being boring. <laughs> that was a big yawn. I have a paranoia of being boring. And so I edit a lot. And I think it's because of watching other YouTubers where I'm just like, you know, just get to the point already and uh, fast forward. And I think sometimes my videos can be like that. And you know, my husband's my greatest critic. And so he gives me a lot of insights on my YouTube videos. <laughs> so and before we get boring or before I bore myself, let's go outside and plant my carrot seeds. So this one doesn't have any plants in it yet. This is where my carrots go, because their roots are the deepest. This doesn't have any plants. I did plant something here, but it must be the tag flew out. And I don't remember what it was anymore. Oh, it's a lettuce, some type of lettuce. And then this needs some plants. I think I know where my tag went because there's dog prints in here and I think there was a dog digging around, which kind of upsets me because I don't want the seeds coming to the surface. So what my plan is to leave some edges here and make a big old square in the middle. So I'm gonna start with one packet here and just kind of sprinkle it all over. And then if I have to, I can thin it out. All right, so that's all planted. Here it is. All right, so as you know, I did hit 100 subscribers. So next week, I will be posting my YouTuber request video, which will be a special request that one of you subscribers made. I did a poll on my Instagram, and this was um, one of the highest polls. So this is the one I will obviously use as the winner. Um, so that'll be a surprise content for you next week. And if you want to join the giveaway to win the free organic coffee that's roasted by my brother-in-law in northern Michigan, then comment below my video next week and post your favorite fruit emoji. And as usual, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing and being a part of this channel. I appreciate you guys so, so much and can't wait to see you again in my next video.